welcome everybody to a special presentation of the unboxing of Wave 4 Solo, a Star Wars story action figures. This is a force length line and as you know earlier in the year before the film was released we saw Wave 1 of these figures. They included Kira, Chewbacca, the Range Trooper, K2SO, Luke Skywalker, and Maz Kanata. Then we followed up later on with Wave 2, which comprised of a very sought after figure, Moloch, Princess Leia on Hoff, Kylo Ren, and Supreme Leader Snoke. Wave 3 came to me all the way from China, featuring Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker. Oop. Just taking down the Moon Band Stormtrooper. Darth Vader. Ray Jedi Training. And the First Order Stormtrooper Officer. But now, we bring you. Wave 4. Ready for unboxing. Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube Television Toy Showcase channel. Welcome to that dramatic start that I had for my video. Thought I'd do something a little bit different, a bit weird. Hey, the only figure I kind of alluded from was the one that came with the gauntlet that I have in a Minban Stormtrooper pack. That is the Han Solo, the original digital one. Very, very fantastic. This, this is a good looking figure. It looks a lot like the vintage carded Wave 2 Han Solo. And also I want to show you the Han Solo that came with the speeder, which has a removable vest. I, I hadn't seen an image of him. Oh, let's put that up there so you can see that. I hadn't seen an image of this Han Solo without the vest on. He looks like he has an extremely long neck. Fantastic. What about the vest? Let me check out the vest. Yeah. It's a little... Didn't think it would come off, but apparently it does. Excellent. So, two Han Solos. What you're tuned in for today excites me because Wave 4's arrived for me. There's a lot of great videos out there. Where's my Wave 4 back here? Blacked out the name. Just so creepers don't come around. <laughs> And it's time to share with you the unveiling of said. Did I cut that good? Wave 4. So you're seeing them the same time as I've seen them. Ooh. These were available in Australia from an online toy shop. I was thinking to go there, I checked them, you know, very regularly, and I didn't think they would be sitting there as get them now. Shipping now. I was thinking I was going to pre-order them because I also found a few other things on there that I was like, I'll pre-order that. And yes, well wrapped up. Beautiful. Let's see if we can... Who do you reckon we'll take out first? Excellent! And the lucky dip goes to... <gasps> Fanny Newton's Val. Let me have a good look at her first. Let's see. This Lovely, lovely figure. Sandy Newton playing Val. Have we got enough light on this? Come over here with the light, goddammit. Let's get in there nice and close. This figure here is Val Mimban. But that is Vandor 1. That's what she wore in the heist on the bridge. If you've seen the film, that's what she's wearing. That's a mistake by someone who gave the information to Hasbro, Hasbro just goes on whatever and they just put it on the card. 
strange but very cool it's a lovely lovely sculpt there's a lot of color in that the fur around the neck that's plastic molded very very nice back there Ooh, and here we have l337 now this droid here phoebe wallabridge i think her name is it might be that something like that this was her character apparently it started off as an astromech droid and got extra parts and became a protocol droid does look very cool nice sculpt I remember watching the Star Wars show when they had the prototype version of the six inch figure they gave to her. I thought wow that one looks cool the three and three quarter inch is just as good ah oh, oh, Rio Durant voiced by John Favreau have a look at this monkey boy excellent come on into focus look at that look at them arms See, these figures should have been in Wave 1. These are all solo figures. Why are we waiting to Wave 4 to get them? And tell you, Hasbro, make sure you make a lot of them because everybody's going to want these. If you enjoyed Solo, you'd want these figures. And the main man. How's he look? Not too bad. Uh, Tobias Beckett. Now, let me tell you about Star Wars. I've been getting a lot of hate on my videos lately. A lot of hate. There are people out there still salty bitches about Episode 8. I'm one of them. I don't like that film. It, it hurt what happened to Star Wars. And to say we shouldn't collect anymore, we should boycott things. No, I want to collect. I'll collect no matter what. Would I buy Woody Harrelson, an action figure, if it was Hunger Games? No. Would I buy him as Woody Harrelson's character in Cheers? No. He's in Star Wars. I own an action figure of Woody Harrelson's likeness. That's how powerful Star Wars is. It, it goes further than just one bad movie. He wasn't in that bad movie. I got a Woody Harrelson action figure. That's how good Star Wars is. The next one's an interesting one. It's the Royal Guard. The Royal Guard. This one isn't in Solo, but it's good to see. He actually is, you see back here, there's his brother, still boxed away in that Target exclusive three pack. Yeah! Couple of Royal Guards if you want to take him out of the packet. But here on Usual Mike Television, we keep them minty fresh. Excellent. Here it is, the master of the Pikes, or the leader of the Pikes, Key Tolsite. Fantastic. This figure is hard to find because there's only one per case. If they're going to make Wave 4 limited, this figure is going to be limited. Kind of like they did with Fen Rao, or Fen Rao, however you pronounce his name, in the Rogue One lineup. He's a Rebels character, and his figure is very short packed as well as very hard to find. This one is going to be like that, unless they mass produce them a lot. Much sought after. Very nice sculpt. Very, very cool. It's holding... Hmm. Key toll sight. Did we get a good look at him? Look at that. Look at that. Fantastic. I'm not showing you the backs because you've seen them all before where it's just a hand and they've just photoshopped the figure in. The last figure from the wave. One that everybody's going to want. Just chuck that box away. Mud Trooper Han Solo. This has a removable face mask so you can see what he looks like. He has a positioned elbow purposely bent so he can hold the weapon all the time. Let's get in there and have a really good look. Another much sought after figure. I believe out of all the images that was leaked from conventions, this was the last one I saw the card art for. We saw the figure on a table in a display at one of the conventions, didn't see the card art. That's the last one I saw. Very nice. Very nice. Now, that's wave four. Now, I've asked Mr. Stevie. He's on Instagram. He's the boss of Hasbro's Star Wars making these guys. It's head of design. Anyway, said to him, is there a wave five? Exactly right. Got no reply. Nobody thinks there is. I don't think there is. There would be a report that there is, but there, I don't think there is. We have figures missing. Where's Dryden Voss? The bad guy. Played a big part. Hmm? Didn't get him? 
Also, I would have liked to have seen the characters in the Vandor 4-pack. There is that really nice Kira and Weasel. I would have liked to have seen those guys packed onto a single card. It would be much easier to get internationally. You struggle to get those 4-packs. I'll put a picture of the 4-pack up there. That would be much better. And also, this came out very early on. The first two-pack I got, I would have liked to have seen Lando, this Lando, young Han Solo Lando, and possibly the Kessel Guard packed onto their individual cards as well. So that could have been a Wave 5 idea as well. If you didn't get this, they can repack those later on. I don't want to see these guys on Episode 9 Force Link cards. I don't even know if they're going to go with Force Link in... The episode 9 but if they do I don't want to see these figures again on those cards it would be frustrating it just looks messy it's kind of like when we got K2SO in our solo lineup it's like that's movies ago ages ago I already got K2SO I got him in the Rogue One line so they're the frustrating parts of it um, I almost have every single figure of solo except for Rebolt and the Hound that's the one that I don't have because on the Australian site sold out always every time i go there's sold out i hope it restocks i hope it's available at some stage there's also the exclusive version was it the canadian toys r us it's c3po and r2d2 it's on pre-order expected to arrive in december yeah around then as a star wars collector i'm really happy with my collection things could have been done differently in character choice wise uh, and the way it's given to us uh, I wasn't too pleased about all the figures from Solo being in the last wave when they could have been in the earlier ways where people would have been like wow Rio Duran look at that the forearm dude it's fantastic you would have got them early instead of really really late because at this point the film's done and dust it's on DVD it's 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 popularity starts to disappear and doesn't get ramped up until something new happens and people go back and revisit it. And then it becomes interesting again. Getting figures when it's, eh, no one's caring about it, it can be seen as a little bit uninteresting. But as a collector, you're a collector, you're probably watching this because you collect. These are important to us, to have representations of our characters we see on film this is important to us. We like collecting for this reason. I still think from Hasbro there's some things they did because the movie got new director and also reshot in little parts. I think there was characters that were going to come out but never did. I'm still looking back and seeing why did they repack Rose and BB-9E and BB-8 in this two-pack. Also why did we get this mall and not the mall from solo we could have had a mall from solo later on in the line and also with han mud tripper we could have just had a generic mud tripper as well they did a funko they had a generic mud tripper and it wasn't han solo's version just could have been an army builder if you wanted those sorts of things to make a you know some toy photography or a diorama it's up to you a plain old mud tripper would have been fine I suppose you could cover up his face. If you get right in there, you can see there's a little bit of face. You can just see a little bit of face in there, but you could cover it all up and possibly call him generic mud trooper, but he's always going to have that red thing on his arm. There is one available in the six pack, the trooper pack. I don't know if I'll ever see that one. That's a Target exclusive. That's probably not coming to my country. I may never see that one. I'll pan the camera across and check. you can check out all the figures. Um, please leave a lovely comment down in the description below. I have a lot of hate lately and it's like doing my head in. I do leak videos and people don't appreciate that they're called leaked. They call it misleading. I got called out on Instagram by Fanthatrax. Now, I thought these guys were pretty cool. I thought, yeah, 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 they're doing their thing on YouTube. I'm doing my thing. And they called me misleading because of it. 
That is frustrating. I entertain. Don't care if I call mine solid gold. What can I call any? I can call it whatever I want. I want to call my videos leaked. They're leaked. And they're saying they're not leaked. They're images that are released by Hasbro. That's not the point. I'm leaking information to the people that don't have the information. That's where I'm angry and the rant will start there. I'm getting a little bit salty about these guys. So, if they're watching, called you out. Leave me alone. If you made it this far in the video, write down in the comments, may the force be with you, and whatever else you want to say to me. Thank you for watching today. My name is Usual Mike. You can follow me on Twitter at UsualMike30 or on Instagram at UsualMikeTelevision. If you see an image on the internet you think I should be interested in, send it through the social medias and I'll get it up here on one of my videos. If you haven't done so already, hit subscribe, tap that little bell for notifications, slap a like on this video if you've enjoyed it, and I will see all of you guys next time. All the best.